I'm Timothy Turtle. Welcome to my committee, the world's best online management system for committees and boards. In this video, you will learn how to create the minutes for meetings. After attending a meeting, the committee secretary records the minutes of the meeting. My committee uses the agenda for the meeting as a template for the minutes. From the Meetings tab, click the ellipsis icon to the right of the meeting for which you are creating the minutes. From the drop-down menu, click Create Minutes. You cannot create minutes for a meeting until after the scheduled date for that meeting. Please note, once you begin creating the minutes, you will not be able to edit or distribute the agenda. Make sure that you are finished with the agenda before creating the minutes. The process of creating the minutes is similar to creating the meeting. If you have not already done so, please see the video tutorial, How to Create New Meetings. This is Quick Edit Mode, where all of the information is on one page. You may edit the minutes in wizard mode by clicking the icon to the right. Just as with the agenda, you will navigate through the sections of the minutes with the tabs at the top or the next and previous buttons at the bottom. Clicking the button done will save your work but will not distribute the minutes. Meeting. This is the scheduling tab. If necessary, edit the scheduling information and when you are finished, click next. Attendance. My committee records all of the RSVP information from the meeting. Edit the attendance information as necessary. My committee will record attendance for each member into a report. Click Next. Documents. If you have any documents that cover more than one items in the meeting, you can add them here. Click Next. Minutes. Here is the agenda of the meeting transformed into minutes. Add, move, or delete sections and items as necessary to reflect the meeting. To see how to add, move, or delete sections, see the video tutorial, How to Create a Meeting. Click on the pencil icon below an item title to edit and add the minutes to that item. Make any changes necessary to the agenda items. Be sure to record the time needed for each item in the meeting. My committee records the statistics for time allotted. Add the minutes for the item in the field provided. By default, items in the minutes are complete. If the item is parked or deferred, use the calendar to list a due date. Alternately, you can bring it up at the next meeting by clicking the button Next Meeting. Let's add an action item as a sub-item here. Please note that this is also how you would add a resolution or a discussion sub-item. Fill in the information as appropriate. My committee will create a task for the lead of this action item and it will be due on this due date. Please note the item numbering and see how this item is numbered as a sub-item. You can customize the numbering system for agendas and minutes in your committee settings. For more information on items, including action items, discussions, and resolutions, see the video tutorial, How to Use Agenda Items. Review. Here is where you may review the final minutes. You may also make comments on the items, which everyone will be able to view. You may also make notes on the items, which only you will be able to view. Distribute. Here is where you distribute the meeting minutes to the members and guests in attendance. If you require the chair to approve the minutes before distribution, you can set this option in your committee security settings. Otherwise, press the button Distribute. The minutes have been drafted and distributed. Each member will receive an email with a link to view the minutes. The members may confirm that they have read the minutes, and the members may also leave comments and notes on the minute items. Here in the Meeting tab, click the button Recent Meetings. You can see that my committee shows the status of the minutes for each meeting, whether drafted or distributed. Normally, minutes are approved by members at the next meeting. To approve the minutes, go to the Meeting tab, click the ellipsis icon beside the meeting, and click Approve Minutes. You may approve the minutes as they were last distributed, or you may edit the minutes and Approve as Amended. Once the minutes have been approved, the minutes cannot be edited again. You may allow the public to view meeting minutes from the committee's public access page. To see how to set this option, please see the video tutorial, How to Customize Your Committee, Security Settings. Thank you for watching the video tutorial, How to Create Meeting Minutes.